ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड मैट्रिक्स प्रपोज बाय लॉरेंस एंड किड ओके नाउ लॉरेंस एंड किड्स दे डिवाइडेड दी क्लास बेस मैट्रिक्स ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड मैट्रिक्स इनटू फोर कैटेगरीज एंड ऑल हैव रिलेशनशिप और बेरिंग ऑन कंपोनेंट लेवल डिजाइन एंड दीज फोर कैटेगरीज आर साइज inheritance internals and externals what is size the size oriented matrix for this kind this they proposed by lorenz and kid for an object oriented design focus on counts of attributes and operation so this is a class these are these are the attributes and these are the function operating on these attribute so the counts of attributes and operation for an individual class this is size oriented matrix inheritance class inheritance based matrix this uh, works on operation which are used through the class hierarchy that is one class inherited inherit the other class then it is actually using or reusing the methods which are defined or implemented in the base class then the class internals this class internal matrix they are talking about the cohesion and code oriented issues so if we are talking about a class does this class do all the like minded single minded one point oriented work the external matrix is talking about coupling and reuse coupling means two modules how many how much interaction they have so let us take the example of these matrix which are proposed by lorenz and kid the first one is the class size now the overall size of the class how can we determine it we have certain measures operation the total number of operation it can either be inherited or it can be private also encapsulated within a class that is the functions total number of attributes again both inherited and private encapsulated by the class you can say total number of operation and total number of attribute count in the class so this is the class size so large values of this class size will tell you will indicate that a class may have too much of a responsibility and that is going to reduce the reusability of that class and when you are going to implement and test it will be difficult it will complicate the things inherited or inherited or the public operations and the attribute should be weighted more heavily in determining the class size okay because mostly the functions or attributes which are inherited in the different uh, base classes that has to be weighted more the private operations and attributes this will enable the specialization why because it is more specialized it will not be inherited it will not be used anywhere else so they are more localized in the design so averages of the number of class attributes and operation we can compute and if you have a low average values of this class size more likely that classes within the system can be reused they can be reused in other projects or in this only 